Hey everybody, this is Chris Ward with Eagle Realty. Welcome to the Eagle Reality Career Talk Podcast. And of course our podcast mainly for real estate professional professionals, if I could talk, mainly for real estate professionals, those of us in the real estate industry. Um, hopefully you can glean something from this, help your business, grow your business. Uh, we're, here, we're here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and uh, I'm the broker in charge of Eagle Realty and Eagle Resorts Incorporated. And we just came off of a great event. And I thought, you know what, this might be a good topic, a good subject of a podcast because I, I would imagine that most of you in the real estate industry are doing something similar that we did last night um, or that we've really done all month, but something similar. And if you're not, I think you should be. And if you are, maybe you do it a little different. Maybe you can leave some comments. Maybe you can you know, shoot me some messages, social media, whatever. Uh, contact me and let me know some of the ideas that you're doing. Um, because I know some of you guys are probably doing it awesome guys and gals out there in the real estate industry, whether you're a realtor, whether you're a broker in charge, um, whether you're a manager, however you organized, however you're organized, however you set this up and however you appreciate and you, um, connect with your clients to show them love either throughout the year or one specific time. That is what I'm talking about, client appreciation. How are we, one, doing client appreciation, and two, why are we doing client appreciation? So let me first start, are you doing something? Are you doing some sort of client appreciation? If, especially if you're an individual realtor, it's so much easier. The scale that, I, that we did it on, as a broker in charge, as an owner of the company, I, I do it full company-wide. Um, my idea, from a broker manager type role type position, an owner type position is to help my agents and resource them to pull off a kind of bigger event, a bigger month, a bigger focus so that it makes them look good to their clients and they are able to not have to worry about so much budget planning, all that kind of thing. They can just enjoy and really focus on connecting with their clients. That's just how we have set it up. So we do all month long. September is Client Appreciation Month. We're coming to a close here. Client Appreciation Month all month long. Um, lots of, um, we, you know, we have drawings, we have um, gifts and contests and that kind of stuff. A lot of little loves and of course across social media, a lot of encouragement for agents to connect with their clients throughout the month and really touch base. And then it all culminates, it all comes to a head um, at the end of the month where we have our client appreciation party, which was the event that we had last night. And we throw um, a little shindig, um, had music, had food. We, we kind of rented out um, a, a deck at a, a local restaurant, um, overlooked the waterway um, here in North Myrtle Beach. And we just kind of blew it up and said, hey, we're just gonna have a you know a few hours of just party time. Agents bring your you know clients out to it. We'll have tables and everything set up for each agent. And it was just a phenomenal time. And, and each year it's grown. So that's what's been very cool to watch and I, it will continue to get bigger. In fact, we're probably going to outgrow that location because we've had it there for three years, but um, it's been really fun. Um, and and it's just, it's just a blast to connect with clients. And it's a blast to hear the feedback about an event and uh, not, not, only, not only just the event last night, but the whole month long, the concept, the strategy of the event, how both, the, how both my agents and, and our clientele just are like, wow, like this is first class. This is awesome. So, I'm not saying that's to my own horn. I'm saying that we have a very specific strategy where we are trying to connect with clients, where I'm encouraging my agents to reach out from um, to to really market and connect with their client database for referrals. Um, that's a lot of our contests throughout the month. And last night was was referral contest. How many referrals can your client give you as your as, as their agent? Um, and it's really just a referral source. And it reminds the agents like this is this is where easy business comes from. These are warm referrals. These are easy connections. It's not cold internet leads. These these are the kind of referrals that actually turn into sales or turn into relationships that will eventually lead to sales. Where you're networking and you're spider webbing um, your connections with your clients and then their sphere and it's a much it, it's a much easier ask when you set it up in the context of a client appreciation month or a client appreciation event it doesn't seem awkward strange because I as kind of the creator am making it 
the quote-unquote rules of the game to participate in certain contests and that kind of thing and thus the agent doesn't come off looking like they're just asking for business the agent looks like they're participating and throw an event for the client and it's and it's the brainchild um, you know or the the event coordinator which is me in this case that are asking for referrals and I kind of think it's it's just a really interesting strategy that has seemed to work um, and it again it gives that connection point of trying to get new business from current business um, really networking with your client and in their sphere um, showing your love and appreciation for them and their business and repeat business that hopefully you have with them and solidifying your relationship with your clients that shows you really care and it's more than just about one transaction that you actually stay in contact and you stay in touch and you want to you know actually have a relationship as a realtor um so that's ours that's i mean that's what we do at eagle like what do you guys do what what is your strategy what is your continuous strategy because this is an annual event for us it has to be consistent we've talked about that in other podcasts every strategy you do it's got to be consistent and you have to um you have to do something. You have to do something. So even if it's small, if it's consistent, I know a lot of us do like you know client contacts for the holidays and all that kind of stuff, and that's great. Maybe you do a Christmas party. Um, maybe maybe you do um, you know you, you do like birthdays and anniversary letters, um, uh, making sure that you're you know touching base via email. Maybe you do um, maybe not like a full party, but maybe you just send out like really nice gifts um, at certain times a year. What are your client appreciations? How are you staying connected post? transaction how are you staying connected with your clients and the why is very simple it's what I just defined why do we do client appreciation month and a client appreciation party is because in our company it allows an easy ask for the agents to connect with clients in a non-threatening way to ask for referral business because that's what we all need need to be doing we just got to find a comfortable way of doing it and two it solidifies the relationship with that client for when their repeat business comes around for anything that they have regarding real estate or rentals or anything like that that we are their agent you know I guess agent for life like you want to solidify your relationship with your with your clients in that way that it's a long-term thing and it's not just transactional so referrals and solidifying the relationship and thirdly appreciating them just showing the love that you actually care because guess what without our clients our business would not exist Without our clients, we would not have the income, the sales, anything. We would not have a career without our clients who buy and sell real estate. So, I know I'm kind of coming off. This is very general. This is very, uh, I don't want to say vague, but you need to be doing some kind of client appreciation some form, form or manner that is consistent throughout the year that results in you getting referrals and or keeping your client as a long time client and repeat business from them. In AR states, this is gonna represent 75, 76, 77% of your business over the lifetime of your career is past clients and their referrals to you. So it is a very important chunk and it deserves a budget, it deserves a strategy, it deserves a focus for you to go after and appreciate and love your client and have that kind of strategy that shows them that you actually care as a real estate agent more than just about one single transaction. So that's my rant. I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast. Remember, you can follow us everywhere out on social media at Eagle Realty SC. You can also check out, um, subscribe on iTunes, The Eagle Reality Career Talk, or on SoundCloud. Um, and also visit my personal Facebook page, Chris Ward Bick, B I C, Chris Ward Bick, and uh, check that out. Hopefully, some helpful tips to help your real estate career or your real estate company grow um, no matter where you're at in your career. Have a great day. I can't wait to talk to you next time on our next podcast. Make sure you subscribe.